the Tata Nexon EV changed the EV ecosystem in India completely. It is actually the most affordable all-electric SUV in the market. Well, today we have the updated version of the Nexon EV and we're going to tell you the standout features of this electric vehicle and also tell you why you should consider this vehicle if you're in the market for an all-electric vehicle. Come, let's find out. Tata has smartly updated the Nexon EV because they have updated those visions or rather those parts that attract a lot of attention and the first thing you see is the front face here. You can see that the headlamps or rather the split headlamp display is completely changed. It looks a lot more sleeker and space age. You can see they are all LED set up right there. Then you look at the DRL on the bonnet, it runs across the bonnet. That looks again very sleek and very space age. As such, you can also see the front camera right there and this is the reason why it offers 360 degree camera. Now let's take a look at the side. Now the side profile remains very much the same but again you see the alloy wheels, they are 16 inch alloys. They are brand new design ones and again look very very sporty. But over here the key part here is the ground clearance. Now the EV is available in two versions the medium range and the long range. Now the medium range offers a ground clearance of 205 mm but this is the long range version it has a bigger battery so it eats into the ground clearance it offers 190 mm of ground clearance. Coming to this rear now it is more of an evolution rather than a revolution so it just sticks to its Nexon DNA. So now you tell us what do you think of the design of the Nexon EV? Is it space age? Is it over the top? Would you go for it? The interiors of the Nexon EV is smartly spruced up. Tata has done a brilliant job because when you look at the panels, it looks very premium. You might even think this is soft touch, but actually it's hard touch. But they've very smartly done it. This, of course, is your regular hard plastic. Soft touch is more like in the side panels right here. But again, it looks very premium and looks a lot more airy as well because of the color combination. Now, the superstar has to be this 12.3 inch uh, touchscreen. This is really easy to use, very responsive, and it gets your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, the works. You know, you have it all right here. You want EV details, you get it all here. And if you look at it here, it also comes with JBL functions because it is equipped with nine speakers of JBL. Now, the music itself is a little bit on the thump side, so it's like more bass, but then you can do the settings and, you know, fix it by yourself. So you can see the instrument panel right here. It is very simple, easy to read, and these are like touch sensitive. So again, they give you that physical uh, button experience, but it's easier to use over here. This is a very good function right here. Let me just press it and you'll know it by yourself. Express cooling is on. So this basically ensures that the AC is a lot more stronger. Express cooling off. So we're no pretty much cooling mode on. So that's pretty much quite straightforward. Then you have your 360 degree camera right here and it's really very easy to use. The good thing here is the brand new gear lever because it had that rotary one and that used to have some sort of lag. Now it's not like that. It is like touch, feather touch and very easy to use. It also comes with three different drive modes, city, eco and sport. We'll talk about that when we drive and it comes with electronic park and also auto hold. Now auto hold is a really good feature because when you're driving in start stop uh, traffic, it helps you and additionally gives you a peace of mind while driving. It comes with wireless uh, phone charger and if you still want to stick to the wired option, then you have a quick 45 volt uh, type C charger, then the USB, uh, typical USB charger as well and the 12 volt socket. So you are pretty much sorted everywhere. Now it also comes with a brand new instrument cluster. It is all digital, a 10.2 inch massive screen. But what is great about it is that it has a lot of information available right here. You have your trip meters, then you have the range that is live range it shows. 
and that pretty much gives you a lot of information it also has cruise control so each and every information that you need is available the steering wheel of course is brand new it also comes with india's favorite sunroof it is a small sunroof but yes it offers a sunroof so that will make a lot of people happy in terms of cooling well it comes with front ventilated seats and that is really important because right now we are in the middle of the afternoon and it is summer time so the interior dimensions haven't changed and that is a great thing because nexon always offered a lot of space you can see that even though i have placed this seat according to my height that's 5 feet 9 i still have enough knee room and i can slide my legs underneath the seat now the only catch here is because the nexon ev now i'm just talking about the ev the it is raised a bit higher so that's the reason why you don't get enough thigh support that's the only reason why it feels a little bit more taller but apart from that you look at the way the seat is designed both in front and back they extremely well contoured you can get the side support right here lower back support here the cushion is also beautifully contoured right here and also if you look at the headrest it is very comfortable in terms of the headroom well if you are below 5 11 or 6 feet then you should be pretty much all right otherwise yeah like any other vehicle you'll have a bit of a problem so for your comfort requirements it also comes with a rear ac vents right here and it has again the fast charging 45 volt type c charger so you're very much sorted when it comes to sitting in the back so we're driving the nexon ev and it has an output of 142 bhp and 215 nm of torque now you'll notice that the torque has reduced and honestly that's a good thing because like any ev when you step on the accelerator it just pushes you back Now if you're a first time EV buyer or an owner well it can be very unnerving and it can actually lead to a lot of panic accidents so that's not the case with the Nexon it has plenty of power and it also now comes with a brand new motor which has an output of 106.4 kilowatts now the brand new motor is also 20 kg lighter and it continues to offer three driving modes eco well it's just about saving energy It's fairly decent if you're commuting in traffic times, but if you want to really overtake somebody, then it'll take some time. So when it crosses over 50 kilometers per range, it kind of becomes a bit static because that is how it can give you the highest driving range. Now the city itself is the best. It really offers enough power. Like right now, if I'm driving, it's an open road. It has enough power right there. It just picks up speed. and we are already crossing 80 km per hour it's like very very easy and uh, the sport now we just going to change the mode to sport economy drive mode we are on the sport mode and here we go and it picks up like no one's business and we have already crossed the three figure mark but the good thing about this is it's in a linear controlled manner so the person who's driving the vehicle is not intimidated and doesn't feel also unsafe Now the Nexon EV starts from 14.49 lakhs and that is the medium range one while the long range one that we have with us starts from 16.99 Now when you look at the design it definitely has that SUV-ish butch look and of course the Nexon we know is very popular in the market but on top of that the futuristic design updates that it gets definitely makes it stand apart it continues to be one of the most spacious cars in the segment but the icing on the cake is definitely the 143 bhp or the output it offers the all electric version it is quite fast it is also has a very decent range in real world time you will get a range of somewhere between 300 to 340 kilometers which is quite quite impressive so in this range this definitely is one of the most value for money all electric suv if you're in the market for an suv and that one all electric version then we suggest to take a look at the nexon ev and also go out for a quick spin thank you for watching express drives and if you like the content that we are putting up then please do like and subscribe us